your licensed psychologist for your Wellness Wednesday. Look, I have no sass for you today. I haven't prepared any skits. There's no music queued up and I'm wearing my mummy pig shirt here to address something quite plainly. We know that this pandemic has been really hard on mental health. And despite the efforts of practitioners putting all of their services online, I know that services are really hard to come by. So let me quickly and emphatically recommend helplines. Please do not underestimate the power of the abundance of helplines that we have at our disposal. I know so many people think it's awkward. It's not. Think about the people on the other end of these lines. They are trained, they care, and guess what? They want you to call them. You're not going to call a helpline and receive like bureaucracy and like, you know, a strange maze of transfers and you'll have to call back tomorrow. That's not going to happen. They are there for you in an immediate capacity. A lot of these helplines are, are on the front lines. Please, please don't underestimate the power of helplines. I'm going to put some up right now. Remember that a lot of them are 24 hours. A lot of them have texting services and chat services. And a lot of them, uh, you know, will help you when you feel that nobody understands you. Will help you in the middle of the night when you're doing that nighttime thinking, that nighttime detrimental thinking sometimes. So a huge shout out to everybody um, who's working on those helplines. Huge thank you. We need you so much. And as promised, here's a list of sub-helplines here in Montreal.